an androphile. Any of you boys an androphile? Definitely not. Ah, Garrett knows. Listen, are you are you poking around again? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Garrett is. Garrett's yeah. on the ball today. Oh, he's always on the ball. So yeah. an androphile. So men who love men but who don't oh. want to be called gay are now opting for this new label. Androphile. They, this is a this is a made up thing. Or this is like a. It's, it's catching on. This was in England. Men who love men but don't identify with the LGBTQ community have come up with a new word to describe themselves as a new as an interview with the BBC brings to light. Uh, Nicholas, and I'll be like you, Shinarde, I think, C H I N A R D E T. Shinarde? Chinaret? Shinarde. You know. Nick. Nick says, I think homosexual is too clinical, and lots of people use it negatively. Gay has a certain lifestyle attached to it, which I don't recognize in myself. So I don't relate to the cliches that are attached to the gay scene. I don't go clubbing, I don't go shopping. So he says that he's come up with an alternative term which describes him as a man who finds other men sexually attractive. He's calling it an androphile. Where's the andro come from? He created from? the term with the knowledge of the Greek language, putting two words together. Andro means man. Okay. File means to love something, denoting love of something. So androphile. Man so he love. said it's a polite, non man love. You, it's what I wrote down. It's a polite, non specific way to ask what a certain person is attracted to. So, for instance, Allie in the booth would be an androphile woman, which is heterosexual. She likes man. She likes men. So, you can be an androphile woman or an androphile man. There you go. The word is now being co-opted by other yay young men, gay young men who identify as the alt-right. Boys in the booth might know that too with one of your other shows. Henning Diesel is a right-wing libertarian who lives near Hamburg, Germany. He rejects the word gay and he's begun to identify himself as an androphile. He said, gay is too much part of LGBT and I don't see myself as part of that. He explains he doesn't identify with gay music like Lady Gaga or Ariana Grande or Miley Cyrus. Well, he also do doesn't I. watch Queer as Folk. Yeah, well, I don't either. I mean, this is like... He admits he's associated with the alt-right. Okay. But um, he, he really thinks his sexual orientation is homosexual. He describes his personality as having male characteristics like courage and diligence. Very <laughs> traditional. Oh, oh, courage and... So women don't have courage and diligence. I, so he's an androphile. I love so, this John, stuff. you could be an androphile, which is straight men having... Well, no, I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to... Use, I'm going to puzzle over... You're an androphile. I, I, androphile. I got to puzzle. Men who want to have sex with men that want to be called gay... I call that straight men. <laughs> you call that straight men. Right? Well, you can skip. Men who love men but don't want to be called gay are now called androphiles. That's the headline. All right. So there's so many ways to skin a cat. That poor cat. Oh, that poor cat. Skin a cat.